Thank you, everybody. I'm going to tell some jokes now. If I can find them. So, so this is a bug drag show. We're celebrating human bodies and bug bodies. So this first joke, uh, does anyone know what bugs can produce milk? Boobies! Okay, so that, that was not an original joke. The rest of the jokes are original. That one was a freebie. But, but the rest of my jokes, they're bad. Okay, I'm warning you, they're bad? That bad. And I encourage you to boo, okay? If you feel like I get energy off of booze. You want to practice? Boo me, boo me, come on, hit me. Getting a little pleasure from painting like that, right? Yeah. Leads me to my next joke. What do you call someone who enjoys being bitten by insects? What? A mosquito kiss. Yeah. All right, so back in the US, we had some elections last week and we had <laughs> Fuck capitalism. Yeah. Anyway, 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 anyway. Does anyone know what you call a bee who runs for office? What? A politician! <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Politics is real blood sucking. <laughs> Uh, did y'all hear about Gwyneth Paltrow's Goop brand eye ointment made of tiny little flies? It's all natural. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Okay, so, so we just... So we wrapped up spooky season, right? There's lots of real spooky bugs out there. Uh, you know, we have your spiders and scorpions and stuff like that. But the, 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 the spookiest of them all, those are the, the woodborne and the bark beetles. I mean, they're awesome. That's what I work with. They're, they're really cool, but they're spooky. And you might think because like they can attack your trees and transmit pathogens, but it, it's, it's all in their name. We've got Skull, it's an A, Boom, Prestity, and Scare Ambicity. Yeah, anyway, dark beetles, what do you do when they get all moldy? You, you know, you, you get all ride. You flow them in the trash. <laughs> flow them in the trash. <laughs> all right, all right, okay, so this is a bug conference, right? Because bugs are the best. I do have some herp jokes. Are there, are there any reptile and amphibian fans in the room? Uh, what is a snake's favorite beetle? A hysterid. <laughs> what is the poopiest reptile? A turd hole. What is an oak tree's favorite snake? A corn snake. A corn, a, a corn snake. Didn't the tiger duel the legless amphibian? So you got, you got tiger, right? She's a fierce predator of the, the jungle or somewhere. And this amphibian doesn't have legs? Why did it not duel with the legless amphibian? 
is you never go against a Sicilian when death is on the line. What bug is best for hamburgers? What bug is what bug is best for hamburgers? I was more going for ground beef tools. Ground beef tools. What is a dragonfly's favorite breakfast food? Oh, donut. Uh. What is the grumpiest beetle? Crabbity. Okay, do y'all know what piglet bugs are? They're, they're in the family, uh, uh, Calicelidae? Calicelidae? Calicelidae. Uh, does anyone know what order they're in? I'll give you a hint. The piglet bug, there's a space in between. I mean, you're in a hemiptera, but it's actually hamiptera for piglet bugs. <laughs> What do you call a root-feeding insect that gets ill? A sick Ada. <laughs> what sound does a scarab make when it flies into a bell? Dong! <laughs> All right, okay, okay, so I told, told some jokes. I'm gonna end on a story here, so I need everyone to bear with me for this story, okay? This story is about a high school basketball team named the Beatles. And they are a very good high school basketball team. And they have a very active fan base that really just gets pumped up. Just, you know, just yeah, yeah, go Beatles! Yeah! And the leader of this, this fan base, his name is Lee. And there's this one chant that really just gets the car fired up. And the basketball team just oh, goes into overdrive. It goes like this one. Row, 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 row. Go Beatles! And like, whenever they do this, it, I mean, it just, yeah, blows the other team out of water. So this team's doing really well. They end this season undefeated. It didn't lose a single game. You know, the whole time, Lee is there leading his raw chant. And, uh, Quarterfinals come by, they obliterate the team. Semifinals come, they win by a larger margin. And then it's the championship game. Everything comes down to this, right? But all of a sudden, the Beatles are down. I know, it's sad. The Beatles are so good. And it's, it's halftime, and the Beatles are down. 20 points. They, they've never been down at halftime before, not to mention by 20 points. And the coach is looking around, you know, thinking to himself, man, what is up with the team? And he notices that Lee isn't in the crowd. He's not there pumping up the crowd, getting the team all excited. So he pulls the team together, you know, gives them some little bullshit pep rally, I don't know, pep talk, you know, sends it on the way and uh, sends the Beatles on their way. And he hands a piece of paper to his assistant coach. It's got a phone number on it. And he says, I need you to call the up to rock. I need you to call the up to rock for the Beatles. And they won. And they won, thank you.